good morning so last thursday i was riding uh, a very short ride mainly because i wanted to do an update vlog because uh, the last vlog i uploaded was opening of a ladder so not really a vlog because it has been shitty all busy the last couple of days i mean really really busy um i didn't take my backpack with my battery with me because the drift was at 45% full, so battery life, so I thought, you know, it will survive for 20 minutes. It survived for 10. So I got half an update vlog, which I don't like, I'd rather do it full. I'd rather do it completely over, then remember where I kind of left and start to talk my way into that vlog. Because you never get the same um, sense of you in that vlog, you will always notice it is recorded on a different day because you feel differently, you talk differently, the weather is differently then it never feels like one whole thing so we are going to redo it and for that I'm gonna visit the train station because I can so we meet P, R and Z but yeah, it's been a busy couple of weeks because I had to fix my car for the yearly checkup. There were some things uh, not really correct. In the end, it all wasn't too bad, but you know, car was only two months in my uh, uh, how do you do it? how do you call it ownership. So that was kind of we really checked it well before buying it, but yeah, we missed some couple of stuff. There was some rust on some of the brake cables and according to the mechanic they had to be replaced. So we checked them, we cleaned them, we washed them, uh, we did um, really really thoroughly cleaning them and then sprayed them in and they looked like new. I mean they look so good. So we didn't end replacing them. We had to replace some rubbish which on the front stabilization bars. Uh, the one we got were not the correct ones, so we are waiting for the correct ones, meaning that we still have some work to do today. And there was a big rust location on the side of the car, and at this moment you can't see anything out of it. We cleaned it up, put some uh, plate in it, covered it, spray, spray painted it three times, and in theory it should be fully okay. It isn't a... how do you say it? carrying bar so it doesn't have to be welded per se in the meantime I also worked on a new vivarium for a new frog because Mrs. also wanted the frog and well to be honest why wouldn't she so we decided to uh, work on a vivarium we still had one standing of glass but uh, glass plate on the bottom was correct, so we had to either replace that or fix that. So we decided with we fixing it, it was easier by putting in another glass plate. Ah, life can be so easy. Uh, we created a double layered bottom. We created a waterfall, although we kind of cheated with it. Back wall in 3D, side walls in 3D. We've been working on that, worked with some stuff called Elastopar, which is very very interesting stuff, I must say. Not chemical, biological, and it stays rubbery, so plant roots can grow inside it. You fill it up with cocoa peat or uh, one of the other eco earth, whatever you have, and then let it dry and then it becomes like a natural looking back wall. Uh, first try, we ever used it. Not too bad. Um, we want to do a, a huge planetarium of uh, meter by a meter by uh, 70 centimeters, 60 centimeters. But that is somewhere in the near future. At this moment, this was uh, the main project we had. We finished it. We went to Bristol, Belgium. There were some frogs, but one, the project wasn't fully finished yet because we still needed some plants. And two, I really didn't trust the seller so we went to frogs day in Nieuwegein there we got some frogs and then we still had work 
uh, not January, February quite easy, not too busy. February, March, I was with my hands in the plaster, so I couldn't ride, anyways. And from end of March, it got quite busy. It's been a busy couple of weeks, and that didn't help with vlogging. Um, but yeah, I did a vlog last Tuesday. I wanted to do this update vlog, but the drift kind of stopped on me, sadly enough. And right after that, I got pulled over by a cop. Now, the Denver, this little fellow, did record something, but mainly my face. You can see a yellow helmet two or three times in, in screen. Uh, you can see me handing over my driver's license, and that's about it. Um, so, I might do something with him footage, I'm not quite sure. Was it something particularly interesting because I didn't anything that was particularly interesting? Yeah, the reason why I was um, pulled aside wasn't because I did anything illegal, but apparently there are some guys crossing in that area off road uh, on the bicycle lane and on the uh, uh, pedestrian lane and in the grass, and uh, that's all illegal, of course. So they are doing more and regular checkups and ask anybody with a crosser whether or not they are crossing there. I haven't been crossing there, so I kindly answered that. It was no problem, I showed him a drive license. He was very, very kind, and uh, for now, I'm gonna enjoy this ride. Thank you for watching.